Greetings and welcome to another edition of Tuesday Tips with Tim. I'm Tim King with Alpix Lynchburg, and today we're going to help solve one of the biggest phone calls I get looking for help, and that's driver issues. Oftentimes when customers either get a new computer or a new employee, they need help getting set up to print. Well, rather than waiting for IT or other printer support, we're going to show you today how to add your print driver to your computers and get up and running faster. From here, you'll see software and drivers. It's detected that I have a Windows device, a PC. It didn't pick up the operating version. So uh, if you need help figuring out what version of Windows you have, you can always hit your window settings, system, all the way at the bottom, about. And it'll tell you, I have Windows 11. I'm going to hit 11. And it's going to show us the different types of drivers. Now, I typically recommend for my PC uh, Windows customers to use either the PCL6 or the generic plus UFR2. In this case, we're going to download the PCL6. Once complete, we're going to open it. Now, it needs to extract Once it's done extracting, it should be in our downloads folder. And you'll see there's a setup wizard. So we're going to double click that. It's asking us if we want to allow the driver to install. We say yes. And then you'll see the wizard pulling up here. So we're going to hit next. Yes. Yes. Next, and it's going to go out onto the network and find our devices. It should find all Canon devices that's on our network. You'll see it found two there. So if I wanted to, I could add this driver for both devices. Now you'll see I already have the device added, so I'm not going to add it again, but you would typically select your devices, hit start, and it's going to install it for you. Once the installation is complete, you want to make sure you go to your settings, to your devices, printers, and scanners, and update your, your preferences. So for our customers, we typically default the printing preferences to black and white and one-sided printing. It's going to come as auto and two-sided. So we go ahead and change this for our customers. You want to save that as your default. And then you're done. And this is going to be the process for pretty much any manufacturer you have. Uh, for instance, I also have a Kyocera Ask Alpha C3554CI driver. Again, we're in America, so we're going to check the product support for America. From here, you see the Task Alpha 3554CI drivers. It's thinking I have Windows 10. Windows 10 and Windows 11 really don't differ that much, but I'm going to make sure I tell it Windows 11. And from here, we can, Kyocera gives you a wide range of drivers. Um, again, I typically, typically like the PCL, although I also use the KX print driver quite a bit. Uh, there's also a KPDL driver that's, uh, that's great for color matching. So we're going to download the KX print driver. You'll see here it's downloaded. It's going to be the same process.
Take that file. And it should start running here shortly. There you go. So it's going to have a another wizard that's going to go through. It's going to um, find all the Kyocera devices that's on your network and add the driver. So again, it's asking if you want to trust the application. We're going to hit yes. And this is what that looks like. Do a custom install. So this installer looks a little different than the Canon, but we're going to tell it we want the KX driver. We move that over, and we we select our device. To match the KX driver, and we're going to hit install. And then you'll see I got a mark the screen here. It's installing. And uh, this driver is a little beefier, so it's going to take a little longer to download. But you see it's working through here. And there we go. So we can actually turn off the two-sided printing right here as a default. And we can also tell it to print a test page and then finish. And I just heard the test page come out. So there we go. We'll close the installer. And then again, you want to go back and make sure you add your defaults in there, just as you would on the Canon. So there's my KX. We can go in and just keep putting preferences and we can tell it what preferences we want. And then, so you'll see here, it gives you all the preferences on this one. So we wanna make sure we tell it black and white and duplex off and then hit okay. Simple as that. I hope today's tip to help everybody get up and running sooner. As always, if you have any questions, reach out to marketing at offix.com. That's marketing at offix.com. Make sure you like and follow our socials, and we will see you next week on Tuesday Tips with Tim.